Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in this series of tutorials, we will be learning about test rail. So test rail is a test case management tool, web based uh, test case management tool that is widely uh, used uh, in the software industry. So uh, let us explore what is test rail how we can use test rail and how we can leverage it in our software development uh, and uh, QA activities cycle. So let's see uh, what is test rail. Okay, so test rail is a web based test case management tool uh, where you can manage the test cases, the test suits and different test runs associated with your project. Now test rail can be used by testers and developers uh, team leads for managing the projects. It is developed by a company called Jurok Software and it provides the commercial as well as trial version. So for commercial you have to uh, purchase it and uh, for trial it provides a 14 day trial version uh, which we will be using in our uh, tutorials to understand the test trail completely. Uh, then it is used for uh, reporting and matrices. You can uh, pull out the reports pertaining to uh, the execution of uh, your project and at what uh, stage is a project, how many uh, milestones are still remaining, how many cases are still remaining. So uh, reports pertaining to uh, different sections. Then it provides the seamless integration. That means you can integrate test trail with several uh, other tools, uh, for example, Jira. Jira is a very famous tool that is being used uh, in the agile world. So uh, even I have uh, created uh, a tutorial and playlist on Jira as well. So if you want, uh, you can just click on the card on the upper uh, right side. Coming to next one, it is uh, like bulk editing the test cases and adding the results. You can uh, edit the test cases in bulk and you can add your test results after the execution. So uh, uh, test rail is used uh, for tracking in all the QA activities as well. So this is like what is test rail is. So let us see some features of test rail. Okay, so test rail supports different methodologies. Uh, we have agile, we have exploratory testing, maybe functional testing, is automated automation testing. It helps in the creation of milestones. Milestones are nothing but uh, a target that is that needs to be achieved. So we can set several milestones in test rail, and uh, you can create those milestones. Uh, you can create the start date, end date of the milestones, and then. Uh, you can track your milestones. So uh, we have test cases, uh, sections and subsections. So test rail provides you uh, with the opportunity to create sections and subsections pertaining to your uh, software functionality. And then you can add uh, test cases uh, pertaining to those sections or subsections as per the defined categories for the project. It helps in the creation of test runs that are associated with milestones. So say for example, you have defined few milestones, uh, M1, M2, and uh, uh, you want to release uh, some part of software in M1, milestone one, and then you want to release another part in M2. So with each of the milestones, you can create test runs and you can execute your test cases and you can get the report, okay? Then coming to next one, we have the email notifications. So email notification is one of the good features provided by test rail so that the particular users are notified of uh, the changes happening uh, into the project and then coming to next one we have it supports the free supports the free text search so you can search in test rail with any keyword uh, from the search box and of course uh, teams and groups creations for businesses so you can create uh, your own team or uh, you can create a group uh, with all the team members uh, specifically say for example you want to create a group for testers uh, you want to create a group for developers so you can create different groups and you can add your team members into those particular groups okay so these are uh, like some of the basic features of test rail so we have seen what is test rail and uh, uh, what are some of the features now let's uh, in the later tutorials let us explore that uh, how we can use and leverage test rail for our software projects and what all features it provides we will be seeing in detail in the coming tutorials 
so thank you very much guys for watching my video and if you like the video do subscribe my channel thank you very much and keep learning in life bye bye